If we set a mass on a spring and set it into motion, it will oscillate. And that oscillation can be graphed as a sine wave. When we watch the spring vibrate, we'll notice that the position of that spring will slowly increase to a maximum. And then as it returns to its original position, it will eventually compress to what we would call a minimum and then return again to its original location. That would be considered one oscillation or one cycle. And the time to accomplish that is called the period, represented by the letter T. The period is generally measured in units of seconds. Now another way to consider the unit to represent this vibration is to consider what's called the frequency. The frequency is how many cycles happen in a particular time period. Generally that time period is a second. So on this picture that I have in front of us, suppose that all of these cycles happened in one second. Ignore my units a moment. Imagine that we had one cycle, two cycles, three cycles, four, five cycles. Then that frequency would be five cycles in one second. Or we call that unit five hertz. The period and the frequency are related to one another. They are inverses of one another. So the period is equal to 1 over the frequency. To compare the relationship between frequency and period, let's take a look at the VR software. We often begin a test with system check, and our standard system check situation is to run a 30 hertz sine wave with a 4.6 G peak value. And as I'm running the test, you can see that sine wave is forming. And what we have is the acceleration waveform, which is the acceleration versus the time in milliseconds. And here is one complete cycle and that one complete cycle is at approximately 33.389 milliseconds. That's the time for one cycle. That's the period. The period is the time for one cycle, 33.389 milliseconds. How does that compare to frequency? Well, frequency and period are inverses of each other. So if we want to find the frequency, we need to take 1 divided by 33.3 milliseconds. 1 divided by and 33 milliseconds is 0 0.033, I think it was 89 milliseconds, is 29 and a half or 30 hertz, which is our frequency. So frequency and period are inverse relationships.